DAP Pulau Pinang dan pemimpin DAP Pulau Pinang dan wakil-wakil rakyat menyuarakan sokongan padu kepada setiausaha agong kita Saudara Lim Guan Ing sebagai Ketua Menteri Pulau Pinang memberi sokongan kepada beliau menentang uh, serangan peribadi dan tidak bertanggungjawab yang dilakukan oleh Ahli Parlimen bagi Bayang Baru Datuk Sri Zarin Muhammad Hashim by labeling Lim as a dictator, a chauvinist and communist minded Datuk Sri Zarin sounds no different from AMNO in its racially extremist lies against DAP leaders it is not surprised because he was still in AMNO until very recently so he still holds this uh, AMNO threat even AMNO and BN never labeled Lim as a communist when Lim was detained without trial under the ISA in 1987 how can Lim be a chauvinist when he was sent to jail and lost his parliamentary seat to defend a Malay girl who was detained even though she was a rape victim. Further, Lim had initiated the eradication hardcore poverty program in Penang where 90% came from one community by ensuring that all families receive at least 500 ringgit a month. Zarin's claim that Lim was a dictator because he could not accept criticism is puzzling when Zarin had never criticized Lim in any Pakatan Rakyat or joint meetings with the Penang state government. Decisions in the Pakatan Rakyat are made collectively in exco meetings. Zarin is also wrong when he had questioned why a third of Lim's speech during the first Pakatan Rakyat National Convention on 19 September last year was in Mandarin. Clearly, Zarin was absent as Lim had spoken 85% in Bahasa Malaysia and the remaining 15% in English and Mandarin. But even if one third of Lim's speech had been in Mandarin, is it a crime to speak in one own mother tongue? This extremist approach befits a typical Penang Amno leader and not a PKR or Pakatan Rakyat leader. Zarin should not try to provoke sentiments and attempts to break up Pakatan Rakyat in Penang by claiming that PKR has no say in the administrations of the PR state government. Lim was attacked by AMNO repeatedly as a puppet of Tato Sri Anwar Ibrahim over the issue of the appointment of the first deputy CM following the resignations of Mohammad Fairuz last year which Lim insisted is Tato Sri's Anwar choice. If PKR is not respected, why then were the words strengthening local government democracy used instead of restoring local government elections? I think you can find the context uh, during that time. The only contributions to local government elections by Zarin is asking for more councillors to be appointed from the PKR. Nothing about local government election. Eh? If PKR Penang is not respected, why then Zarin com was conferred in his capacity as PKR State Chairman the high honour and title of Tato Sri last year? No present DAP elected reps has been accorded such a high honour or even the lesser Tato ship of or PKT. <laughs> there is no doubt that Zarin is politically frustrated over his removal as Penang PKR chairman. Further, Lim had informed me of Zarin's frustrations with Lim for refusing to endorse Zarin's decision last year as chairman of Island Golf Properties in awarding a tender for the privatized management of the Bukit Jambu Golf Club to a two ringgit company. As chairman of PDC, PDC the chief minister had recommended that the board of directors overrule the award of tender and call for a fresh retender. The board of directors of PDC had accepted the CM's recommendation that to give the tender of running the golf, only golf club in Penang Island 
worth tens of millions of ringgit to a two ringgit company would not comply with Penang Cat governance of competency, accountability and transparency. Giving contracts to a two ringgit company would make a mockery of change that Penang Knights voted for in the 2008 elections and make Penang Pakatan Rakyat no different from Barisan National. By holding firm to CAT, the Penang State Government has been able to turn a projected deficit of 35 million ringgit in the 2008 budget to a record surplus of 88 million ringgit. Penang is proud to be the first state to hold public open tenders of government projects and procurement contracts and also conducting, its, conduct, conducting it through the internet or e-tender or e per olehan By sticking to CAT principles, Penang is the first state or federal government in Malaysia to gain praise from Transparency International. Zarin may want to personally burn his bridges with DAP Penang but he should not allow his political frustrations and Lim's refusal to endorse his award of tender to a two ringgit company to attempt to break up Pakatan Rakyat in Penang. Is the DAP going to urge uh, PKR to take action against Zarin? They are having a meeting, I think. I think uh, the PKR state and national would have to deal with this problem together with other problems that the party uh, encounter of late. Lah. Saya uh, dimaklumkan uh, PKR negeri dan pusat uh, ada mesyuarat esok. So lebih baiklah uh, perkara ini ditangani oleh PKR dan uh, kenyataan pada hari ini pun menunjukkan kita amat uh, concern dengan isu ini dan saya rasa melalui kenyataan ini kita pun mengharapkan sesuatu dapat dilakukan oleh PKR terhadap uh, outburst eh? ini terhadap uh, Ketua Menteri dan Setiausaha Agong kita lah. Uh, YB, in the scale of 1 to 10, how do you think the DAP relationship with PKR 10 being the best and 1 is the best? If I want to say, I would say 11. <laughs> <laughs> if there is any individual who do not uh, put their faith in this relationship, uh, it is entirely the, the personal view of that person. Uh. But as a party, as I, uh, I, I would like to say it is 11 and not 10.